what does a program look like when, if it's successful? You know, you, you need to have number one measurement. You know, we're measuring the governance process and program. You know, uh, you have a compliance team. Uh, you're working closely with with the security team, and and those are not just a bunch of manual processes. The working close with the security team is actually integrating the security into the data. So it's not just like this conversation. It's not a meeting you're having. It's actually like assets are being put together to link this up to be automated. Um, you know, giving uh, users control over their information is the thing that builds the trust with the users. So, you know, how do you actually do that within the context of governance? How do you, you know, Snowflake is this incredible platform. How do you get Snowflake to, to deliver that data to the users, giving them enough control over the data without just creating a bunch of chaos? Because you can do that. <clears throat> and then, you know, identifying, you know, the secondary benefits and and building out uh, higher quality of data, getting rid of the data silos. Uh, just because all your data is in Snowflake does not mean that you've actually integrated the data. It just means that it's living in one location. You've solved the locality problem, but you still have to solve the logic problem, which is, you know, how do I get cohesion within, uh, you know, the actual data itself? And then, you know, ensuring, ensuring the long-term success with your uh, with your stakeholders, committing to you know some standards that um, that the data delivery process can uh, can automate, and then and then monitoring this process. So you know having appropriate monitoring of the you know of your Snowflake environment, of the assets that are produced within. Uh, that environment, because again, this is an unlimited, this is what's changed over the last, you know, five to 10 years is now we have unlimited compute. Now we have unlimited storage. You know, you, there are organizations that are just uh, in, in in Brazil, we call walking belly first, where they just, <laughs> just no governance, just going to let this thing go. And and then they're, they're coming in and going, oh my gosh, my, my expenses are so high. And I'm unable to manage this environment. And, and there's so many objects in here. <clears throat> you can't you can't walk belly first into this stuff. You have to you have to really think about how am I going to automate these processes to create some governance around the naming of objects and ensuring that those objects are actually secured to users. Um, that the content itse itself uh, has been uh, conformed so that users are not just making decisions on you know disparate sets that are are not even relevant to uh uh the the core content that that the rest of the organization is using so all of these pieces you know play together so that the the system of consuming information is actually informational it's decision ready uh and that and that people can collaborate on it it's not just a bunch of uh islands uh trying to trying to do their own operation yeah, and things outside of that are constantly changing also, right? There's new technologies, yeah. there's new requirements, there's new rules. I mean, just look at Snowflake. I mean, every every ProTalk, we talk about what's new in Snowflake. There's All the new stuff. So we need to, every time, you know, we need to keep iterating on this and looking and saying, hey, can we do this better? Can we improve this better? Our, our data governance plan, are there things we can change? Um so, and yeah, some of these really small talk. things are groundbreaking. Like, I mean, you know, some of these capabilities that we have just for data masking, now we can embed that literally right within the database. It changes, and in, like there are organizations that have masking tools that are external, that now all of a sudden they can build this right within their, their data sets. So the, the innovations need to be able to trickle back into the organization. Hey folks, thanks for checking out this cut from our broadcast. To see the full show, click on the link in the video description. Also, check out our learning center, which has white papers, events, live streams, and short explainer videos on a wide range of data management topics. And of course, if you like our content, please share it on LinkedIn. That really means a lot to us. Thanks again for checking us out, and we hope to see you in our next broadcast.